What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So last week we ended up working on my orange off-road mini quad. I ended up actually fixing this thing up because I ended up cracking the frame on the back there and then did a couple reinforcements on it. I ended up cleaning up a few things that I've always wanted to do on it. Took it out testing, had a little bit of fun with it, but I still want to do some more testing on this thing before we actually tear it down completely and get it painted up or powder coated. So I thought since we kind of planned to go Taking this thing out this weekend, since we got a long weekend with Thanksgiving coming up, why not try and work away this whole week while I can, since we got almost all the parts, pretty much we have all the parts to get the new mini quad project all finished up and hopefully test drive by the end of today's video. At least that's what the goal is, cross my fingers. So if you haven't seen the last couple of videos we've been doing on this thing, picked up this mini quad frame we're swapping a six and a half horsepower motor in it and we had to do a bunch of modifications like modifying half the frame here just to get the motor to fit in there but i think it looks a lot better and it's coming together pretty nice and now we got a couple boxes of parts over here and even a brand new 6.6 .6 224 cc motor gets swapped up in here because this motor in the meantime was just kind of a mock-up to get an idea of how the motor is actually going to fit in there i'm going to be pulling the torque converter off there putting that on there and then i got a whole box of parts which has the intake exhaust chain sprocket brakes throttle all the necessary stuff to actually get this thing on the road and working so that's the whole goal i got the torque converter stuff all in that box as well so that's the goal in today's video there is a few things i need to knock out real quick before we actually start installing all the parts i need to weld on a couple brackets for the gas tank since we're going to be welding the gas tank up up on the top here and then i do need to weld in a couple brackets for the seat i do still need to pick up the material which i'll end up picking up tomorrow we can knock that out pretty quick and at least get the whole top section knocked down and kind of work our way down get the new engine put in there and just get everything all knocked out and it should be a pretty quick build for the most part and then at the end of it i would like to go take a testing this weekend with my orange off-road mini quad so we're going to see what happens but at least let's try and get a test drive by the end of this video so i'm going to start working away getting the old mock-up motor pulled out of there and just kind of freeing up some space and then start working on chopping a couple brackets and getting some stuff welded up on the top here to get the gas tank well mocked up and mounted in and also start figuring out how the seat's actually going to set up and then start kind of getting everything all sorted and what i need to do and all the little small stuff like i need to still finish up drilling out the torque converter and just a couple small things like the exhaust needs to get modified to go around the shock just those small things that actually just need to get knocked out in the meantime but let's get to work enough talking i think i'm gonna start working on Yep, here on the gas tank, get that all knocked out, and we can start working our way down. So it is now dark outside. I ended up working away on this thing for the last hour or two, just kind of getting some stuff knocked out and figuring out a lot of things in my head and how everything's actually going to all work out. So in the last hour, I ended up knocking out the whole gas tank, got this all mocked up and actually bolted in place. So I ended up welding up a nice little flat piece of metal right in the back side here and one on the front here right behind the steering and threw some rib nuts in the front and back, got that bolted up and and we can square it all into place and she is centered in the frame so she is all good to go and then i'm going to use the same flat spot here to build a seat going all the way back and my plan is to have it go flat right here kick up a little bit and then flatten back out probably stop around right here and then we can use this nice flat spot right here to bolt it up as well so it'll have a couple bolt holes on the front and back side now that i'm thinking about it i'm probably going to add in another flat piece right in here somewhere just so the seat has a little bit more support because you probably end up sitting like right here on the thing so i'd rather not have any issues in the future like blowing the seat out or something like that so in the meantime since we don't have any seat material to actually knock this out and i still need to pick up some more flat metal because we do need to brace up the swing arm again to actually get that all solid from last video when we chop it all apart that should be quick and easy we can knock out tomorrow but in the meantime, I'm gonna start working on some of the parts I actually have in the box. I got a brand new sprocket for the rear. This is like the third sprocket I bought for this thing. So hopefully this one fits. And if so, we got a nice 420 chain sprocket on there that we can line right up to the torque converter that we have. And then probably start playing around, checking out the brakes that I have for the rear. Got some hydraulic brakes. See if I need some spacers for those and make sure they're actually the good length to actually line up on this quad. And then just go through a few other things, just eyeballing a couple things, getting an idea in my head and getting this thing all knocked out but I'll probably catch up with you guys here in a little bit once i actually get the sprocket on there maybe a couple other things and i can show you guys what we got going on so it's actually the next day last night i was talking about starting to mess around install a few of the smaller bits like the rear sprocket and then start playing around with the brakes and stuff luckily my third time's a charm with the sprocket i finally got 
the sprocket that actually bolts up to this thing so now we got a 48 tooth 420 chain sprocket on the back but my luck quickly ran out last night once i unboxed the brake caliper and mocked it up there and realized that the one i ordered is like a half inch bolt hole width di different than the actual frame so i ended up just starting to work away last night since we ain't got really time to wait on parts to come in and we got holiday weekend coming up so Parts are probably not going to be coming in for a little bit now, so I'm just going to end up using what I got and just started working away, building up a little bracket to actually bolt up to the caliper. So, got that all notched out and she fits up perfectly. So, now we just got to get this welded up to the frame. So, I'm going to need to end up chopping down this old existing one a little bit just to kind of get these ears out of the way. So, then we can get this new one put up in there. I definitely need to shorten down this one just a little bit just to get it in the right spot. But We'll mock up the caliper, get it in the right spot, and then get this all welded in. It should be pretty easy. I just gotta remember to keep some heat off the bearings and not really weld it up completely right away. So just kind of work away at that. And in the meantime, I think I'm gonna add in a couple braces in for the seat, probably just one right in here, just another flat piece of metal. I ended up picking up some more today. Nice little piece of flat metal in there, kind of helps support the seat in the center here because you never know where you're gonna actually be sitting on this thing. And then we'll end up actually finishing up bracing up the swing arm mounts like I was saying before hopefully get all the welding done in the next hour or two so I can finally start working away on getting all the stuff installed on this thing I ended up picking up all the seat foam and I got some fabric there I'm just waiting for my buddy to come drop off a piece of wood so we can actually start whipping up the seat which is my plan tonight get the seat built up and then once that's done we're basically just installing the motor all the small little bits we do have to modify the exhaust a little bit that's really not too much and then last night I ended up 3D printing up the new intake adapter so we can build the little snorkel kits like I do on all my toys. So we'll get that all knocked out once the motor's all in there. But she's working away, she's getting there. So just enough time to get it all knocked out. And there was just like four kids walking and driving by a golf cart. I ended up clipping this. I guess I'll start working away and get this thing all knocked out. That really threw me off. All right, so another few hours have gone by and it is now pitch black outside. I even had to run the Home Depot to get some more welding wire and all that, but I ended up getting some more stuff knocked out. So like I was just saying, I ended up getting that brake caliper mount all welded up. Got the old one chopped off of there and the new one welded up. So should be able to bolt on the new brake caliper that we have sitting right here, right up on there and she should work perfectly. And then at that point, I started working on the rest of the stuff I need to weld on this frame because I'm basically done welding on this frame. Hopefully, at least I'm across my fingers. There's a few welds I do want to like clean up and touch up too, but other than that, nothing really that I need to actually get welded up in it. But I ended up welding up another bracket right on top of here to help support the seat like I was talking about earlier earlier and then also got the swing arm all strengthened back up so she is good to go on both sides there just added a little piece on the outside going up to these upper bars so something quick and easy and it still looks pretty clean too frame still looking good so started working away on getting part of the seat all mapped up so got a couple pieces of wood all chopped out so my plan is to have one big piece right there we'll have the next piece going down and this piece going right there so that'll kind of give us a whole idea of the base of the seat and to connect all these pieces together my idea is to get a nice piece of sheet metal going right across here screwing it all to the wood so it connects all pieces together and i'll probably put another strip on the bottom but i want to leave most of this wood exposed so i can staple the fabric to this thing and then once we get that piece of sheet metal on there slap some foam up on it which i got right here we'll probably end up doing i think three layers on this thing just give it a little bit more cushion and then start wrapping this thing up in fabric and it should be pretty straightforward for the most part still going to take a little bit more time and it's just a little bit of tedious work but once we get this knocked out at that point it's literally just slapping all the new parts on it finally which i'm stoked for because i'm tired of welding and grinding on this thing and just ready to actually drive it for the first time actually feel how it does so enough talking let's get back to work i think i'm gonna finally set you guys up on a time lapse and get this seat all knocked out with you guys so you guys can actually see the process of it all getting done and see what else we can get knocked out tonight.
So I ended up cutting the time lapse a little short because I know the fabric part is basically the same thing as the last layer of foam. So you guys saw I put three layers of foam on this thing and the last layer I left a little bit longer on the sides, wrapped it around to the bottom side, stapled it so it has some nice round edges, kind of helps kind of hide some of that wood and metal that I have underneath it. And then I ended up slapping the fabric on top of it, getting it all stapled down and stretched out and kind of laid out perfectly how it wants to because the fabric's a little tricky. If you pull it a little too tight in some spots, you're gonna end up tightening up the foam and it kind of looks a little funky, but got her all knocked out and she is looking good. I'm stoked how this thing came out. It's probably one of my favorite seats I've built so far. We ended up doing some nice little astronaut kind of fabric on this thing, which kind of gives it a different little touch, which I think I'm gonna end up doing something on my other quads as well. But now that we got this all knocked out, I ended up just putting some gold reflective tape on the bottom since I already know the exhaust and the engine gonna give some heat underneath this. So I'd rather not burn anything. And then you can kind of see how I have it stapled all the way around on each side and on top and bottom. And just setting her up, she's looking all nice and crispy in there. So now that we got that knocked out, all we got left to do is really just drill a couple holes in our little flat spots underneath this thing and put some rib nuts in the seat so we can actually bolt it on completely and she's all good to go. So now that we got all the kind of making stuff and fabricating onto the frame all knocked out, we can finally start installing all the new parts that we have to actually get on this thing and hopefully get it all done and finished by the end of today's video. So that's the goal. I think I'm gonna end up calling it a night at this point. I do want to clean up the shop a little bit because. I got stuff all in the driveway and this whole garage is a mess right now. So clean up the shop a little bit so then tomorrow we can come with a fresh head and actually start installing that new 6.6 224cc with all the new goodies. And it should be pretty straightforward from here. We shouldn't have much modifications and stuff to actually do to it. I do have to do the exhaust because it just needs a little bit of tweaking. Just kind of chop it and re-weld it in a different spot. And then we need to build up the intake which is really not too hard. I did that like five or six times now. So. Should be pretty straightforward from here and I'm really hoping we get it knocked out and riding in today's video because I really want to test this thing out and see how it does. So in the meantime, I'm going to get the garage all cleaned up and I'll probably end up catching you guys tomorrow once we're actually ready to start installing all the fresh little goodies on this thing. <music> What's up guys? So it's actually been two days since I actually last talked to you guys on camera. Yesterday you guys saw me in the time lapse. I got the new 224cc motor stripped down and installed in the frame. And then it might have been kind of hard to see but I got the torque converter all notched out and put back on there. And then even slapped up the brand new chain. Got her all tensioned up and she's good to go. And at that point I kind of realized I was still missing a few parts to actually build the intake kit. I still got a 3D print a little adapter for the air filter to the pipe and then a little holder that actually holds the air filter above the engine so it's not rattling all over the place. And then I still need to chop down the exhaust and get that all kind of in place where it needs to go. And it was pretty late last night so I really didn't want to start grinding at like 11 o'clock at night and welding. So I ended up just calling it a night and it's currently Thanksgiving. So I really don't feel like working on anything today. I feel like I'm just gonna spend the whole day with the family and just doing your thing. So hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving and hopefully everything goes good. 
But I think I'm just going to end up taking out a few toys just to have some fun with the family today and just calling it wraps on this video. We won't be test driving it in today's video, which I am pretty sad about, but do expect in next video that we will be driving this thing because I think tomorrow on Friday when I actually can get some time to work on this thing and I have a whole dead day, I might try and get this thing all knocked out because I really want to take this thing out with my off-road mini quad this weekend. So hopefully I don't break that thing today, but we'll see because you never know. But that's the goal is at least hopefully take this thing out this weekend and test it out because I want to have a good enough time to test this thing out because this thing has to be done and it is going a couple states away by the 20th so I got maybe like two weeks to actually get this thing all knocked out and finished up and 100% hopefully so we'll see what happens but that's kind of wrapping up today's video hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving I hope I do too it should be a good day hopefully I don't break any toys but we'll see and that's gonna end today's video hope you all enjoyed and hope you like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and peace out Thank you.